Good morning, good afternoon, and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keys, and today I'll be doing my very first drawing tutorial. Um, I will be helping you and teaching you how to draw faces in three different angles. Mostly the main angles, the front face, uh, the three-fourths view, and um, sideways view. And keep in mind, faces come in all different shapes and sizes. There is so much diversity in human features. So of course, one tutorial can't cover it all. But this is just something very simple, just to help you get started if you are a little confused or if it's hard for you to draw faces at different angles because it was very, very, very difficult for me. All right, so first things first, I always start with a circle or an oval just to block out where everything is gonna be and then I bring the chin in from the sides and I draw a line uh, horizontally and vertically in the middle just to position everything so that each of the sides of the faces can be even and I usually add a neck just to make sure that um, the face is straight and that it's not turning towards any direction and then um, I recently started to go from the chin up because sometimes I would draw and then I wouldn't have any space for the chin. So I make some outlines for where the mouth is, the nose, and then the eyes. And then um, the um, eyes and <laughs> then the eyebrows go just a little bit above the eyes depending on what expression you're going for. So I'm going for a more neutral expression and then um the ears and the eyes are, and the eyebrows are supposed to all line up in the same area and then the nose is positioned between the eyes and the mouth and then the mouth is just in between the nose and the chin so everything has kind of a even space between it all And usually after you create a rough outline of where everything is, start with very light lines and then you can go in and darken everything. And also uh, straighten out your lines and even everything out because the first time you draw the sketch lines, they're usually a little um, lumpy and probably not as straight as you want them to be. So you can use this opportunity to erase and reinforce everything and check your proportions to make sure that they're all correct and I tried to keep this character as simple as possible at first I drew this and I added hair and stuff but I thought that made things a little less clear so um now they're bald and hopefully that's gonna help you to clearly see where everything goes So this is the one I find the most difficult only because now you have to envision the face as a 3D object and that it's turning and that can be more difficult than just the straightforward face. So start with the usual circle and instead of putting the line in the middle, this, the line goes a little to the side, whichever side your character is facing towards. And now the head now has a backside, so you have to keep that in mind um, when you're drawing the character as a whole so that you have a little space in the back to add the back of the head because now it's showing because they're turning. And just keep the horizontal and vertical lines in the middle of the face to kind of show it where everything is and now instead of the neck being even on each side it's gonna be a little smaller on one side and then a little bigger on another side and just follow the same guidelines for the eyes mouth and nose the eyes and the ears usually align the nose is in between the mouth and the eyes and then um, the mouth is in between the chin and the nose so that should help everything be straightened out and sometimes you can draw a line between all of these faces just to see if everything lines up correctly because if someone turns their face, their um, eyes aren't going to move up and down. They're going to stay in the same spot. So that can kind of help you visualize where everything is supposed to be.
Now for the sideways view. Uh, start with a circle and place the line on one side of the circle and then place another angled line to help you visualize kind of the cheekbones and where the chin is going to be and then connect all that to put the ears at towards the bottom of the circle because that's where the center of everything will be and then um, connect the forehead and the ears together so that you can get the head and um, you want to draw a line from the ears to the other side of the of the face and that's kind of where your eyes will be and then from that line down you can bring it down to create a nose and the nose is usually kind of difficult but as long as you follow the line straight down from the circle you'll be able to keep your mouth and nose aligned straight to the line that's what it's for it's just to help your face not to look weird like if the person is just standing straight their face is supposed to be just straight so you don't get lost while drawing the mouth and everything and then the eyes are much more different um, from the side so you don't want to draw them as if they're facing forward because that's gonna look weird on your character and the eyebrows just go a little bit above and um, the thing that's difficult about this angle is just getting everything to look straight and everything to look proportional so if it helps you can practice by um, drawing someone facing forward first and then using some lines to connect it to the sideways view so that you can proportion everything correctly so that you know where the eyes the mouth and the and the ears where everything goes so that you don't get lost and make things too big or too small as long as you have the lines there they'll be able to guide you All right, well, that's about it for my tutorial. <laughs> Sorry if I sounded a little too confusing. If you watch this and there's anything that confuses you, I can try to explain in the comments. So just comment what you think. And um, I didn't want to make the character too complicated because I feel like that would have been more difficult to explain. So I hope this very simplistic character helps and that things weren't too confusing. And even if I was too confusing when I was talking, I hope the visuals of me drawing helped you. And um, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go now. Next week, I'm very excited because I'm going to be making a fan art of um for attack on titan so i'm kind of excited about that um but yeah i'm gonna go now goodbye oh subscribe bye